Ladies and gentlemen, kicking off Pyramid Fights 2 is your fighter. Sitting in the blue corner, standing six foot three inches tall, weighing 145 pounds with an amateur record of one win and three losses. Fighting out of Sweeney's Martial Arts, Brandon Sweeney. And his opponent in the red corner, standing five foot six inches tall, with a record of one win, three losses from Morata MMA. Give it up for C. Jeff Moya. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pyramid Fights 2. And here comes Sweeney starting off with his round kick. He's had a, a long, extensive training in Taekwondo, in traditional Taekwondo, nine years. He was a second degree black belt. The CJ Moya, we expected exactly what CJ was gonna do. He's 25 years old. He is a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu under Coach Willie McLaughlin. He's been training MMA and BJJ for about two years. He just wants to fight. So we're gonna see. Sweeney, we know what he wants to do, and he wants to stand up and strike and use his leg kicks. But he has been training mixed martial arts for three years, and he's utilizing some form of an open guard. He's looking, he's set up for a triangle right now. Good defense, stuffing it by CJ Moya. Good wrist control by Sweeney. Both these guys carry a, a losing record right now of one win and three losses. But you see the experience, that, the power that CJ's just thrown with. I mean, you know, an upside down record just means they fought some great opponents is what it is, especially when you know a beautiful up kick. Those are beautiful. Smart fighters with great experience. You know, as MMA has grown and changed over the years, you see it's not just that one guy who trains in a garage anymore. He set up a great triangle. He's going to set it up. He's got to lock it down. He's got to get the arm across. He's control the head. CJ Moya is trying to keep that pressure off of his arm. He's trying to grab the wrist and maybe sit and defend and pass. He's doing damage from here. If he stays in here any longer, he's going to have to tap. The elbow's over. His, 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 his stuffed in the pocket. Exactly what he's looking for right now. Sweeney's got a beautiful triangle. CJ Moya is blocking him with his elbow. Stacking him up. There it is open, just like that. Now, one great thing about jiu-jitsu is with the legs, so much more powerful and stronger than our arms. If we would have been doing a technique with his arms, it would have blown out, burned him out. Another beautiful up kick. And he keeps falling inside of his guard, and I can tell you right now, Willie McLaughlin is not gonna like this. There's not a single coach that says, please stand there inside of his guard with the leg over your head. But he did a great job dumping it to the side. He's getting side mount. This is, this is where he wants to be. Good transition to the back. He's got a hook set. He's got a second hook set. This is a tick-tock clock time bomb waiting to happen. Sweeney's doing a great job turning into him and not going to that elbow that's around the neck. That is where the choke happens, my friends. He wants this. He wants this bad. Round one is coming to a close. Can he finish with about eight seconds left? No, he doesn't have it around his neck, but he options to do some damage from there, boys and girls. Beautiful, CJ, beautiful. Great defense, great offense from both of these guys. You know, with the triangle setup that Sweeney had, you can argue that he'd won that round. But I'm telling you, with the damage that was going on with the positions that CJ had, you got to think that CJ edged out. But when you're commentating or when you're refereeing, is a completely different mindset that you have and a different unbiased mindset that you need to have when you're judging. We are here live tonight in Searcy, Arkansas at the White County Fairgrounds for Pyramid Fights 2. Josh Hudson is a coach of Without Limits in Batesville and he has a few partners here that has helped build this organization is continuing to grow and they have huge expectations for Pyramid Fights 3 in Batesville in a brand new facility. 
he has told me that it probably will be the record breaker for attendance in the state of Arkansas. If people found out how good their watermelons were up north, they'd probably get up there. Starting off with another round kick, using his long reach, long legs. But you know, unless you're setting things up with hands anymore, these guys, man, they, they can faint, pummel, they can block, they can catch his legs, and he's just going right in for a double leg. He's tripping for an Ochi. So another easy takedown against a cage. You know, we need to work on takedown defense. That's where these guys are. And I get the mindset when you're an amateur fighter, you want to do as much damage as possible. But, you know, there's great defense, turning him off the cage, brought him up with a knee. You know, you got to work on these sprawls. You got to work on cross face. You got to, you know, there's so many great wrestling camps and wrestling um, popping up all over the state of Arkansas now. And most of these guys here tonight, with the exception of some from Missouri, um, Independence, Kansas City, also a kid from Mississippi tonight. Majority of everybody around here from, from the state of Arkansas. Good, he really is doing a great job defending that. Spun around the back, he's got his hook, he's got his uh, arm over the neck, like what we call an over-under, but you know, CJ's, you know, definitely has better grappling, definitely has you know, better jiu-jitsu, especially for the transitions. That's the most important aspect of the game anyway. But good guard, gonna modify his guard. So Brandon Sweeney, you know, I said he's been uh, second degree in Taekwondo. He's got his own um, martial arts academy in Newport, Arkansas. He just wants to be the best he can be. He wants to be the best that he can possibly be. He loves coaching, he loves teaching. Oh, CJ's going back for a straight ankle lock. He's got to roll over the top of it. He's got to roll over the top of it. Sweeney's doing some great punches, back fists. He's got his ankle straightened. You see CJ's, yeah, perfect. Stand on top of it, he can't arch. So, man, if, if CJ would have just pinched his knees, rolled to the side. Oh, he's still got it. He's still got the ankle lock. He's still got the ankle lock. Incredible, incredible job. We got a winner, the Marine Corps Corporal, CJ Moya. Our first bout brought to you by Bad Boy Morris, introducing your winner to 